Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Thank you. It's a good day. There's, yeah. a, there's a little kid song that talks about that. It's a good day. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And it is a good day. Yes, it is. And it's good for us to be here uh, amongst one another to hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we want to go before the Lord in prayer. If anyone has a particular prayer request, you can certainly let it be known at this time. My brother, my brother, my sister. I just pray that the church will continue to pray for me, uh, pray for my family. Uh, let's continue to pray for Christian ministries. Yes. Um, um, that word in my in my head, what the first lady would always say, in a special way. You know, um, let's just pray that the Lord's will be done in, in each of our lives, amen, and that uh, we'll be humble enough to do what he's leading us to do in this season. Yes. That's powerful. When you just said, let us be humble enough to do what he wants us to do in this season. Amen. Basically, submit to his will. Amen. Um, my sister. Let's uh, just continue to pray for uh, our family. Um, my daughter, uh, she had to go to the hospital one and four. Um, she was sick. Um, the Lord, I just thank the Lord for his protection of her because she was falling asleep at the wheel. She had a high fever and all that kind of stuff going on. And um, she was able to get herself to the hospital and they checked her out. Um, so uh, pray for her that she's still not feeling the best, but you know, pray for her that the Lord will continue to bless her. And uh, also uh, remember men, women, and bo boys and girls in all walks of life, uh, pray much for the ones that are being removed with mental health issues. Yeah. And so the Lord will continue to uh, to bless them and they that they would be able to receive what he has for them. Yeah. Yes. Sister. Praise the Lord, I'm asking the same also remember um Vicky Mill. She passed away passed away Sunday. Yeah. Which is Linda Burton's sister. So let's keep them in prayer that the Lord is going to Any other prayer requests? All right, there'd be none other requests. Like that's the church to stand. Thank you, Lord. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. We certainly thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us and watched over us and kept us even to this very hour. Uh, you brought us, Lord, from a mighty long way. Yes, we appreciate your goodness and your kindness. Yes, you have shown that to us, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. How you've been merciful to us. you gracious unto us. In all yes. of our ways, Lord, yes. we thank you. We praise you. We thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey, come on, yes. show yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Because you are mindful of us. Yes. 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 Hallelujah, declares your mindfulness of us. Yes. Hallelujah, you sitting our Savior. Hallelujah, yes. declares yes. your mindfulness of us. Yes. You allowed all things to work together for good. Yes. Hallelujah, declares your mindfulness of us. Yes. Hallelujah, Lord, we praise you and magnify you. 
Hallelujah. We lift you up, Lord, yes. in, the name of in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request yes. that's been made known to you, Lord. Remember those that are sick and afflicted. Remember those that are going through in their bodies, Lord. Yes. Remember yes. men and women and children everywhere. Remember those that are grieving and going through, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. We the spirit of God. Yes, Hallelujah. Remember those, Lord, that are launching out in the deep. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. That are humbling themselves and standing on your word. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. To proclaim the faith of the Lord. Hallelujah. That there is a Savior. Thank you. That there is a deliverer. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, bless us, Lord, in our witness yes. on an everyday basis. Hallelujah. Let us declare your goodness. Yes. Let us yes. declare your glory. Woo. Hallelujah. Let us shine. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you. Hallelujah. We give you thanks in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He dwells in the midst of praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. Uh, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Uh, he's worthy to be praised. And I love the scripture that was often quoted. It's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Yes. Because his compassions, they fail not. Yes. They are new every morning. Yes. Uh, great is. Amen. Great is by faithfulness. Amen. Can we say it together? Great is. Great is. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you. Yes, Lord. Oh, to each and every one of us. Amen. All right. I want you to turn with me. My God in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory. I feel like the southern preachers. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God in heaven. Uh, uh, I want you to turn with me to Proverbs. The book of Proverbs 15. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm going to say that uh, to establish our Bible study tonight, amen, uh, a couple statements I want to make that right thinking produces right behavior, amen. When you think right, uh, your behavior will be right, amen. If you think wrong, then your behavior is going to manifest that wrong. But if you think right, uh, your behavior will be right. Amen. And um, if I were to ask the class, uh, what's the purpose of Bible study? You know, or, or, or not only here in the church, but also when you're at home in your private study. Uh, what is the purpose of Bible study? Amen. I'm sure that I, I would get it. Uh, a lot of different answers to that. Amen. Uh, but the primary purpose of Bible study, when you study the Bible, it's to literally cause your mind to think according to the scriptures. Yeah. Amen. So that you can act out, <laughs> if you're black and better term, the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Uh, so that you yeah. can act out the word of God. So that you can put the word of God into daily practice. Yes. Amen. So you have to study it. Huh? You have to study it so that you can uh, incorporate the word of God into your everyday thinking. Yes. Amen. So that you can perform it. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, Sister David. I understand transformation. The word calls you to trans transform your mind. Yes. Transform the way you're thinking. Uh, and, and it's beautiful that she said that because when I was meditating on this, yes. I was thinking of the initial stages of salvation. You know, you get saved, you change. Uh, but, but now you need a daily transformation, a daily change. Yes. Amen? Yes. And yes. the daily change comes from the Word of God. Yes. Uh, Amen. You applying the Word, studying the Word to apply it. Yeah. In everyday situations. If you're not applying God's word in everyday situations, then you are missing the mark. Uh, then, then you are applying your own thoughts, yep. your own ideas. 
yes. your own opinion. And you know that gets us in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Amen. So when you, when you study God's word, study it until it can change your mind so that you can apply it in daily situations. And, and, and in order for us to think correctly, uh, in order for us to think correctly, we have to think soberly according to the scriptures. Amen. 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 If you're not thinking uh, according to the scriptures, you're not thinking correctly. Uh, you're Amen. thinking your own thoughts right. uh, or somebody else's thoughts. Right. Uh, so you're living somebody else's truth. Right. <laughs> you got to live God's truth. Amen. 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 Don't, don't, you don't want to uh, uh, think anything other than the scriptures. Amen. 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 Any, any other way of thinking is all, is wrong. Yes. Uh, that's right. Amen. That's, I know that's kind of severe, isn't it? Uh, but, it's, but it's true. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and that's how, that's how God wants you to receive him and his word. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 And then I want to say, um, uh, we are to develop uh, strong relationships with one another. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Uh, the Lord always keep bringing me to this. That we, because, because the whole Bible is written about relationship. Amen. Yes, A relationship with God. Amen. And a relationship with one another. Yes, when yes. we were born into this world, we all had a relationship with the devil, whether we wanted it or not. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, and the reason why Christ came into the world was to sever that relationship between you and the devil. Yes. Amen. And reconnect you to God. Yes. Amen. Amen. So that you can have a relationship with him. Yes. Amen. And when you have a relationship with God, because we were created in his image and his likeness, we, we have to have a relationship with one another. Amen? That's essential. It's, yes. it's, it's non-negotiable. Amen? Yes. God, 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 God demands that. Amen? Amen. He requires that. Yes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, in order for us to have a relationship with one another, we have to trust one another. Amen. Amen. Yes. We have yes. to trust one another. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on here. Amen. We Amen. have to trust one another. That's Amen. Right. Amen. And if if uh, uh, anything comes between my trust, me trusting him, or he trusting me, I'm commanded to get it right. Amen. Amen. We're commanded to do something about it. Why? Because the relationship and the power of God interacting between us depends on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this Amen. is the way God wants us to think. Wow. This is according to the scriptures. Yeah. This is according to the word of God. Amen? Amen. Come Amen. on here. Am I right? Yeah. 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 I'm commanded to get it right. Yeah. Huh? I must get it right. Wow. Huh? I've got to be reconciled. Why? Because I want the, the uh, power of God to be effectual in my life, yes. in your life, and in the life of the church. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, the reason why that is, is because we're literally helpers one to the other. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're helpers yes. one to another. That's how ministry happens. Yes. Amen. Uh, if you look at every aspect of God, look at look at the family. The family is supposed to help one another. Am I right? Yes. The church is supposed to help one another. Right? Amen. The community is supposed to help one another. Yes. Am I right? Yep. Government, any kind of form of government is supposed to help its citizens. Yes. Am I right? Yes. God's government is established to help its citizens. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? To help one another. Amen? If I'm not helping you, I'm not doing what God has ordained for me to do. Amen. Huh? Ooh, now I'm getting another revelation. If I'm not helping you, I'm not doing what God designed me to do. 
Yeah. Huh? Amen. Huh? Am I right? Yeah. I'm not doing what Christ died for. Amen. 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 Wow. Hallelujah. I got to help you. You got to help me. Amen. Huh? We got to help one another. Right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, when we, when we look at our, our lesson then in uh, uh, Proverbs 15, do you have it? All right, Proverbs 15. Um, I thought I was going to conclude um, our lesson. We've been talking a lot about prayer. Amen. And I, and I thought I was going to conclude with it tonight, but it doesn't look like it. looks like I'm going to have to do another Bible study next week on prayer. Amen. Amen. But um, um, even when I was studying this and meditating on this, God took my mind to another level about prayer. You know, that, that if you think about it, millions and billions of people are praying all the time. Huh? All at once. Yeah. Everywhere. There's a lot of people praying. Amen? And, and, and God is hearing the prayers of those that, that are praying. Amen? And I thought about it that that prayer is so essential and God is so awesome that all these people are praying unto him and he's deciphering all of them. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah. Everybody's communicating to him. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Uh, and praying and seeking him, calling on him and God is in tune to those prayers. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Now that's an awesome aspect. Yeah. Uh, uh, that shows you kind of what kind of mighty God you serve. Wow. Uh, hallelujah. And and he's answering some of those prayers. Not answering all of them. <laughs> uh, he's answering some of those prayers. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's manifesting his will and manifesting his desire through prayer. Amen. 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 Now, why does God want us to pray to him? say to keep us humble so we can uh, keep us humble submitted keep him in his right perspective to you keep know, God he's, in, he's Lord he's Lord yeah. of all yeah. <laughs> uh, Monique um, I was going to say to build relationships and build relationships Communication piece. Yes. yes. There's a communication piece with God. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And when we when we begin to call on Him and to seek Him, uh, something happens to us. Huh? Am I right? Yes. When you when you have a steady prayer life, something happens to you. Yes. Huh? And your relationship with God, it builds, it grows. Amen? And then you are able, through prayer, to discern the will of God. Amen? Amen. Is it important for us to discern what God's will is Amen. for us? Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Why is that important? Right. You lost your ship without a sail. Huh? You're beating against the air. And, and but let me put this out there. Huh? If you're not doing God's will, you're strengthening the hand of the enemy. Uh, no matter how good intentions you are, you think you have. Uh, it's either good. It's either good or bad. Uh, it's either right or wrong. Amen? And, and God's will is always right. Uh, our will, the devil's will, is always wrong. Amen. Uh, with God, it's black and white like that. <laughs> Huh? Yes, Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So it's essential that we discern what the will of God is. If we don't, we're, 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 we're marking time. We're wasting time. Yes. Amen? Yes. Uh, you're like a butterfly. Uh, just flying around. Wow. Amen? With no aim, no goal, no purpose. Yes. Uh, we don't want to be like that. Prayer 
causes you to be an arrow in the, in the quiver of God. Somebody need to write that down and preach that. <laughs> an arrow uh, in the quiver of God. And what, what, do, what do archers do with arrows? Shoot. They shoot, they aim and point them in the right direction. Purposely. Uh, purposely. And God, uh, if you follow God's direction, you'll hit the bullseye. Amen. You'll hit the mark. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My, my, my. This is good stuff. Amen. Thank you. All right. So let's see here then. Uh, uh, Proverbs 15 and uh, Elder Corey, if you read for me, uh, yes, drop down to verse 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. All right, read that again. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Now, the Lord is far from the wicked. Right? right. And the wicked is far from God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is far from the wicked. Now, what's the definition for a wicked person? What 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 describes a wicked person? My brother? A person who is continually self-centered. Absolutely. I gotta shake your hand. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And 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 uh what he said is true. That's what makes the individual wicked. Not because the individual sins, uh, it's it's the continuation of it. Yeah. Uh, it's I think of I think of when I think of it, I think of a, in, a, in a movie, you got a villain. Uh, that's in the movie that is out for utter destruction yeah. uh, and trying to destroy. Yeah. Uh, and I was watching a movie the other day and uh, the lady hit the villain on the head and then ran. I'm saying in my mind, well, how come you just don't kill the guy, you know, so he don't come back? Because you know he's getting up and coming back at you. Absolutely. You got close enough to wound him, but you allowed him to recover. Yeah. Uh, we know that the devil is wicked. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And if God severs you from the wicked, the devil, don't allow the devil to come back in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't yeah. allow the enemy to recover. Yeah. Uh, kill it. Yes. Kill. Yes. <laughs> yes. I tell you, kill people. Right? <laughs> yeah. But you don't get rid of it. Yes. Huh? And wicked people are like that. That's what makes them wicked. Uh, they're continual. I'm not going to read my definition. Thank you, Lord. A wicked person has evil intentions for others regardless and disregards the word of God. Amen? And they don't uh, obey God's truth in their heart. Uh, it's continual. Amen? Now, I hope there's no wicked people in here. I hope nobody in here fits that definition. Amen. 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 Yeah, we used to be, huh? And continually, but that has been severed. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, the Bible says, read that scripture again. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Now, the, God is far from the wicked, and conversely, the wicked are far from God, but he says, God hears the what? Prayer of the, righteous. the prayers of who? The righteous. The righteous. Amen? And that, that word, that word there, hear, means that, that, that God, I see, I, see, I'm talking about God here, and I don't want to, my, my word I'm about to use, uh, I hate to say it like that, but, but literally, Ah, God literally, he hears your prayer and he submits to it. And I hate to think of God submitting to us, mm -hmm. uh, but that's what he does. Right. Uh, he's literally, he hears your prayer. Uh, when your prayer lines up with his will, he submits to it. Mm -hmm. uh, he acts on what you said. That's powerful. Yes. Wow. 
Amen? But what's the key to what I said? When it lines up with his will. When it lines up with his will. Does God ever answer a prayer that does not line up with his will? No. 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 Impossible. No. It's impossible. My sister. Can you speak up a little bit? I can't. I don't know if it was in the Bible, but I was listening to a, bro a broadcast and a man was talking about what you said about God submits. Yes. And in the, while he was praying, he said, Oh Lord, attend thy ear unto my prayer. <laughs> and when you said that, it just like came back in my mind. Like you said you didn't like to say something, but he attends to our prayer. Like yeah. he gets our attention and he turns around and everything mm -hmm. else he was doing really before he attends. To our prayer, he pays soul attention to our prayer. Yes. To bring about his will. His will yes. for our lives. Right. Amen. So anytime you pray against his will, he ain't hearing you. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's My right. brother? I was just gonna say there's a scripture about that, though, Bishop. What's that? Uh, I believe it was when Joshua prayed to let the sun stand still. Yes. Uh, he was fighting, and God yeah. heard him. Yeah. And it's a scripture that says um about where God Harken to the voice of a man. Yeah. Because yeah. Joshua prayed and asked God to let the sun stand still so he could finish fighting. Yeah. And he did it. And yeah. God honored it. Honored it. And it's a scripture that says God hearkened to the voice of a man. Yeah. So, That's right. Ain't that powerful? Mm -hmm. he, he did that. Uh, uh, hold that and go over to James. Chapter number five. Hallelujah. James, James, chapter number five. Where we at? Come on, James. Okay, got it. James, chapter number five. All right. Go to James chapter 5 and uh, read verse 17. Elias was a man subject to yep. life Elijah passions. Elijah was a man, yep. Subject to life passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. Now, Elijah is just like you and I. Amen. The people in the Bible are just like you and I. I mean, they're not superheroes. Uh, they're human like you and I. Yes. Amen? Elijah was a man subject to so life passions as we are. We are huh? We have the same temptations, same trials and tribulations, yes. serving God. He had an adversary, Ahab and Jezebel. You know, he ran from them. He prayed. He had a good day. Huh? He had a good Sunday. He yes. prayed. Fire it came down from heaven, licked up the, the sacrifice and the rocks and the dust. Amen. He preached a strong sermon. If God be God, serve him. If Baal be God, serve him. Amen. Preach. Amen. Next after he came down there, uh, uh, Jezebel killed a bunch of the prophets. Amen. He got scared, ran, hid. Amen. And said, God, I'm all by myself. Uh, God said, no, you ain't, man. Uh, I got, how many did he have? Uh, not, I think it was 5,000, 7,000, so many thousands that haven't bowed to me to bail. Amen, God. Huh? 3,000. 3,000 haven't bowed to me to bail. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, 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 and Elisha was strong, but sometimes he got scared. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Passion is just like us. Wow. Amen. Wow. All right, read. What's that? Elisha was a man. Subject to like passions. As we are. Yes. And he prayed earnestly. Now notice what he did. He did what? He prayed earnestly. And that word earnestly means he earnestly sought the Lord. Yep. Amen. If we, if we earnestly seek the Lord, he'll answer. Yeah. Right. Amen. Read what's that? He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. Uh-huh. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Now, ain't that a long time? Man. Uh, three years six and months. six months. <laughs> Amen. 
Now, God didn't just haphazardly do that because uh, Elisha was mad uh, with the king because it was King Ahab. Uh, he was wicked. He was ruthless. Amen. Uh, but but uh, 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 Elisha's prayer was in line with God's will so that he could show uh, Ahab that, that he had the power over him, that God had the power over him. Yeah. You follow me? Yeah. So God ain't just haphazardly going to do stuff just because you pray. Yeah. Amen? Wow. He's going to do it if it's according to his will, yes. if it shows forth his glory, if it's connected to his power. Yes. Amen. Ah. Hallelujah. Uh, that's, right. that's what I'm saying. That's right. Uh, so when you pray, uh, you got to pray according to the will of God yeah. Yeah. so that God can show his glory, yeah. Yeah. so God can show his power, yeah. so God can show his mighty act. Yeah. Amen. Uh, so God shut up the clouds for a space of three years six and, and six months. We can't forget that. Six months. Three years, six months. Wow. All right, read. And he prayed again. Did he pray again? And the heaven gave rain. Uh -huh. And the earth brought her brought forth her fruit. Yes. Brother, if any of you do err from the truth and one converted. Okay, that's it. That's good. Now, mm. let's go back over to cover. That scripture, Bishop, you yes. was, we was talking about. That's yes. yes. Joshua 10, 14. All right, Master, well read it if you found it. Well, hey. <laughs> hey, let's not let's not let it drop to the ground. <laughs> That's like uh, God killed that one guy. I think his name was Aiken. A A Aiken. No, yeah, I think his name was Aiken, but it was not the Aiken. That was uh, the one that messed with uh, uh, Joshua. It was another one. Uh, he was supposed to go into his. his the one in the camp. Yeah, he, he not 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 that one. He was supposed to go into. His, his brother's wife in the past to have seed by you know, and uh, so he let it drop to the ground. God killed him. Oh, that is yeah, you don't be fooling around. Now, see, brothers, y'all seed is precious. <laughs> All right, that's a whole other thought. Y'all get that when y'all go home. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right, Joshua 10, 14. All right. And it reads... And there was no day like that, like it before. Okay, or read. After it. Okay, you got to listen now, brother. What's that? Read. And there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. Uh huh. For the Lord fought for Israel. Yeah. Wow. God will fight for you. God will hear. Amen. And now, you got to realize what was Joshua doing? The will of God. What was Joshua doing? He was fighting the battle of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. And while he was fighting the battle of God, he prayed, God intervened, and, and acted on his behalf. Right. Amen? Right. So where am I going with this? If you pray God's will, he'll, he'll do it. Yep. If you fight his battle, yeah. huh? pray his will, he'll show up. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Y'all with me? Yeah. If you're not fighting his battle and you're not doing things according to his will, will he show up? No. No. Huh? But isn't God good to the just and the unjust? Yes. Huh? What's the difference? <laughs> the unjust waste their time. Huh? But no, I said, isn't God good to the just and the unjust? Yes. Do God, does God... Does God answer an unrighteous person's prayer? I'm messing y'all up. Huh? I would say, I would say, yeah, because that's what His word says. Yeah. yeah, He will. But what's the condition? Got line up with His will. Huh? If the unrighteous person is praying a prayer to God. And that prayer lines up with the will of God. Huh? He'll answer. Not because the person is righteous, but because God is righteous. And it lines up with his will. Huh? 
in God. A lot of people got faith when the airplane is crashing. Everybody prays. No atheists. No atheists. Now, now when, 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 now, now, see, God uses that to His advantage. Uh, because I remember, I remember uh, when I was dead in my trespasses and sin, I prayed and I asked God. I said, God, if if you want to save me, let such and such happen. Huh? Sure enough. Huh? Such and such happened. Wow. Huh? And I realized, that made me realize God is real. Yeah, right. And that he wanted to save me. Huh? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You follow me? Yes. Yeah. But God ain't open to the ears of the unrighteous. He's not hearing them. Amen. He's just good to them. He hears what they say. See, when, notice when the word that I'm using. When I use the word hear, I mean hearken to. Right. Yes. Submits to. Yes. What's that word? How'd you put it? What you said about the God in the prayer? God submitted. He attends to. He attends to. Yes. Amen. You want God to attend to your prayer. Yes. Amen. You want to hit the mark. Hallelujah. My brother? Um, is that something like when uh, David asked God, why did the wicked prosper? Yes. So that's along those lines then. How did God answer that prayer? I'd have to read the scripture okay. uh, and see what the rest of it, because I'm sure David probably answered it in the Bible, in that particular part of the scripture. It just popped in here in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... Um, Let me ask you, what we think is prosperity, it's not. Me having a house, a Gucci, uh, a Lamborghini, uh, you follow me, a yacht, uh, a large bank account, is that prosperity? No. 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 Uh, but the world thinks that. Yes. Right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And if we're not careful, we can be in the house of the Lord, see people with all that stuff, and think that um, God is with them more than he's with me. Yeah. True. Yes. That's true. Mm. And that's not, that's not the way it is. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Don't ever base the, how can I say this? Don't ever base the favor of God based on the accumulation of stuff somebody has. Mm. Amen. Because you don't know how they got it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Satan will bless you too. Amen. Amen. Holy yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go back. Read, read, read that scripture. Uh, Verse 29. Uh -huh. 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. All right. God is far from the wicked, and the wicked is far from God, and the righteous are close to him, and God is close to the righteous. Amen. 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 Why is that? Why is God close to the righteous? they're going to do as well. There it is. Yeah. There it is. That's what makes you righteous. Yeah. Amen? That's why you want to be righteous. If you want the tag of being righteous, that means that you constantly seek the will of God. And you do it. You line up with God. Amen? Amen. Do you want God to hear your prayers? Yes. Huh? Is that important to you? Yes. yes. Is is prayer important to God? Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go one more word. All right. One more scripture. Let's go over to uh, Chronicles. First Chronicles, chapter sixteen. In order for 
me to, in order for you to be righteous, 1 Chronicles chapter 16, and in order for you to know the will of God and to do what God says, you must do what we're about to read. Amen? Remember when I said when I opened up that God literally wants you to think according to the scriptures on a regular basis. Amen? He, want, he really wants you to get rid of your thoughts huh? and, and have the Bible your thoughts. Yeah. Have his thoughts your thoughts. Right. Yeah. He literally wants you to think soberly according to the scripture. Everything that comes into your life, God wants you to measure it by the word. Yes. Uh, seek him and pray to him uh, for guidance and help. He said, if any man lack wisdom, let him do what? Ask of, Ask of God, who give it to every man, what? Liberally. Liberally. He doesn't get upset with you. Amen? Am I right? Amen. Uh, do we do that? Amen. Sometimes. Amen. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. When we don't do it, that's when we think we got it. And when we think we got it, God will let you have it to show you you don't have it. Right. And then that's when failure comes in. Yes. That's when the enemy sneaks in. Yes. God is not intimidated by the enemy. No. Huh? You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. Huh? What do I mean by that? God, God uses the enemy to bring about his will. Yes, he does. Yes, he, yes. Yes, he does. Y'all don't hear me. Yes, he does. Yes. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. God uses the enemy to bring about his will wow. for the disobedience. Oh, yeah. Huh? Right. Amen. Huh? For those that are spiritually strong. Yes. yes. Just as Job, he was Job, spiritually I was strong. Just thinking that. Yes. God used the enemy. Yes. Right. Am I right? That's what that scripture means when it says, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Mm. Uh, you don't want to be disobedient and then God allow the enemy to come up against you. Yes. You want God to always deliver you. Yes. Right. yes. Huh? Right. And when we, when we don't submit to God because God loves us, he wants to correct us and he'll allow the enemy to go so far. Amen. To get your attention. Right. Mm. Why, why, do you, why do you lightly chase ties your children? I'm saying that because I'm on camera. I don't beat the snot out. So you don't abuse them. Huh? But, yeah, but why do you why do you correct your children? So they'll learn. Be righteous. So, yeah, so they can do the right thing. Amen? That's why God chastens us. So that we can do the right thing. Amen? Now, if God uses the enemy to do that, isn't doing the right thing important to God? Amen. Who does that benefit? Us. Huh? Yes. God and us. And one another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you do right, it benefits me. Sure. When you do wrong, it hurts me. Yeah. It hurts us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Am I right? Right. right. Yeah. All right, where we at? You said. Let's look at First Chronicles 16. Yeah. First Chronicles 16. And uh, just because I like how I quit here. Let's start with verse 7. <laughs> then on that day, David delivered first this song to thank the Lord into the hands of Asaph, his brother. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Uh-huh. Be a witness. Read. Sing unto him. 
sing songs unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Boast in the Lord. Read. Glory ye in his holy name. <laughs> yeah. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. All right, now, verse 10. He says, glory in the name of the Lord. Let the heart of them do what? That, that, that seek the Lord. That seek the Lord. What does that mean, seek the Lord? That, that come to the Lord in prayer. Mm. <coughs> Amen? That come to the Lord in prayer. You're seeking the Lord. Yes, yes. What are you seeking for? His will. His, will. his direction. Right. Yes. So you can bring glory to his name. Yes. Because you already know that the Lord doesn't hear sinners. Uh, unless they be a worshiper of him. That's what they say. Amen? Amen? And above all else, God wants you to do his will. Do we always know the will of God? No. no, no. 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 So then we have to do what? Seek it. Do we do that? Sometimes. We got to do it. We got to do it all the time. Yes. Huh? When I don't know which way to go, that's an indication that God wants me to seek him. Am I right? Yes. If I got a question in my mind, I should not go to the horoscope or the psychic hotline. Oh, <laughs> huh? No. Huh? I, I really, I really, I really, if you want me to be technical, I really uh, should not really, really be going to anybody else but God first. Right. Amen. Amen. That's right. I shouldn't call up my buddy. What you think about this? Huh? Right. Or give you the wrong information. Yep, messed up. Yep. Huh? Yeah. Can I teach up in here? Yeah. Huh? I, 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 God wants me to do something. Right? right. I go to Brother Monty. My, Brother Monty, how does God want me to do that? Huh? <laughs> you follow me? You're Ain't that bad? <laughs> and then what if Brother Monty pride stick up and say, well... <laughs> Based on my experience. <laughs> Wouldn't that offend the Lord, though? Yes, that'll offend him. I mean, if he wants you to do something like you, ask him how he, how he wants you to do it. Right. Mommy say, based on my experience, and he may give me some good information. And I say, well, thank you, Mommy. That sounds pretty good. Now go out and do it in bed. Who fault is it? Yours. Amen. That's what happened to, to uh, Nathan the prophet. David, I got you. David, David desired to build God a house. Nathan the prophet said, oh, David, that's a great idea. Build God a house. Wow. Then as David, Nathan walked away, God said, I don't care David build me a house. <laughs> 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 So he had to go back to David and say, God didn't want you to do that. Wow. Yes. Huh? My Lord. You follow me? Yeah. Wow. My brother? Okay, bring it up. Bring, I mean, speak up outside. I'm not trying to be controversial. Right. I'm glad you said that about my yes. Yes. Well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna say this honestly. None taken. Because I was first gonna use that, that example. But I said, no, I ain't gonna talk about me, I'm gonna talk about somebody else. <laughs> but that's but it's true. I may not have all the answers. Huh? And a and a good pastor will say, Hey, seek the Lord. And I'll seek the Lord with you. Yes. Huh? Right. And then let's talk about it. Because it's important that you do the right thing. Right. You can't, you can't, God don't want you to be a lone ranger. No. 
Huh? No. You gotta seek them. Seek them. You gotta call on them. Amen. Now, now I hope this Bible class don't fall to the ground. Amen. Uh, seek the Lord. You know God has put something on your heart. You know you have some answers, some questions, and you need them answered. Right. And God wants you to come to Him. Uh, he wants you to do that. Yes. That pleases Him. Amen. Who doesn't want you to come to Him? The devil and your flesh. Right. Mm -hmm. We think we got it. Huh? That's when we fall down. I'm about to get mad. I'm going to say there's another side to that as well because you can go to man and ask man whether it's our buddy or best friend or whatever mm -hmm. and that they might have a bad spirit and they lead you in the wrong direction purposely. Come on! Jealousy. Come yeah. on! You know, there are times people see you trying to get close to the Lord and you have a better relationship with God than they do. Mm -hmm. They get jealous. That could happen. And they're yeah. trying to sabotage your relationship yeah. with God. That could happen. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Gotta watch. Watch and pray. Yes, sir. Amen. But now, um, uh, let me say this. What she said is 300% true, right? right? But God still wants us to have a relationship with one another. Yes. Yeah. 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 Amen. So you gotta have the spirit of discernment. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. Check the fruit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> huh? Check the fruit. That's it, right there. Huh? I'm not gonna go to an ungodly person for counsel. No. I don't care if you Hutan and Shaman. <laughs> huh? You ain't living it, then they ain't going to you for counsel. So it's important for you to live. Am I right, Brother Clay? Yeah. Wow, we're getting deep, brother. I like it. We're getting deep. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's look and see. What verse is it? Well, ten. Ten. All right. Glory ye in His holy name. Glory in the name of the Lord. Let the heart of them that let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. All right, when you seek God, you should give back. Yes. All right, verse eleven. Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His face continually. How often should I seek God? Continually. Continually. Why? Why should I seek Him continually? Otherwise, you'll be lost. You definitely be lost. You want His favor continually. You want His favor. And you want to know what his will is. So you can do it. You want to be obedient to his will. Yes. So in order to do that, you got to go before the Lord continually. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Yes. Amen? Amen? Have the Lord in your heart. Every day. All day. Yes. Is there a time so I should lay down my religion? No. My faith? Huh? No. I should wake up holy, live all day holy, go to bed holy. Right. Yes. Yep. For sure. Amen. Am I right? Amen. All day, every day, continually. Yes. Seeking Him. Amen. Continually. Why? For this purpose. I want to do his will. I want him to answer my prayers. Am I right? Do you want that? Yes. I want to have great success. Is the enemy thinking about you continually? Yes. Is he trying to destroy you continually? Yes. Absolutely. All right, read. Where we at? Verse 12. Uh huh. Oh, you guys say that? Yeah. Um, I was looking at that word faith. <laughs> I was uh, thinking about it. Um, because some people seek God for his hand. Mm hmm. So the face is, when you seek God for his face, you know, that's, that's his knowledge. Mm hmm. It's wisdom. It's wisdom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Staying before him. Yeah. Amen. Continually. Notice what it says there. Seek the Lord 
and his what? Strength. Because strength. you're going to need strength to do what God requires you to do. Right. Yes. Can't do it on your own. Yes, no. You need help. All right, read. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Here we go, verse 12. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done. Yes. What is, what, what's the purpose of seeking them? Remember his marvelous works that he has done. Why does he want you to remember them? So you can do them. Be a witness. So that it can increase your faith. Build you up. See, when you pray and seek God continually, it builds you up. Yes. It makes you a pile of house. Yes. It gives you the ability to stand strong. Not to be a jelly bag. Not to be weak. Not to fall for any and everything. Right. Amen. Because the devil is shrewd. He's tricky. Amen. Amen. You gotta watch. Alright? So you got to seek him to remember him. Mm -hmm. Read. To remember his what? His marvelous works. That now, he why does he say marvelous works? What does that have to do with? Marvelous works. His ability. Oh! His ability. Huh? What can you say about God's ability? He can do anything. Huh? He can do anything. When you testifying about God. Huh? When you testifying about God, when you when when you when you talk about him, you're giving God the glory. Yeah. Right? And other people hear that. Yeah. <laughs> but you also have to do something to be able to testify. You have to go through something in order to testify. Huh? I can say, I can say from a whole crowd, God is able, right? To deliver you. Now, if I if I if I said that before a crowd that didn't know that God delivered me. Right? And I just said it, they say, yeah, I know it. But if, but if I've been through something, sure, huh? If I went through something, yes. and everybody here knew that I was going through it, and I said God brought me out, oh y'all fall, ooh, the whole church will light up. <laughs> y'all probably roll on your story. Ooh, yes, God is it. Then, yes. then somebody else will catch on fire and say. I'm going through it. I know God, you will put me through it. Yeah, you brought him yeah. through it. Amen. Amen. Uh, it means something. Yeah. Right. To go through something. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I can't stand on my mama's God. My daddy's God. No. My former pastor's God. No. I got to know him for myself. Yeah. You got to know him for yourself. Yeah. That's what makes your testimony effective. Huh? Now let me let me just say this. Huh? You know that this particular person in the church can't stand nothing, can't deal with nothing, and they get up and testify and say, God, God can do anything. And you know that they always fail in the test. They just, before they came in, they cut somebody out. Uh, then when you hear that testimony, you're going to be like, read. Loses his effectiveness. Right. Even though God can, uh, but he's not, that individual is not uh, allowing it to be active in their life. Right. Yeah. It loses his power. Right. It loses his testimony. That's why he says, let your light shine. Uh, before men. Uh, go through it. Yeah. Even if it kills, go through it. Let God bring it back to life. Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, you'll only be able to go through it if you seek Him. Yeah. People who don't seek God won't be able to go through it the right way. Am I right? Yeah. 
Here we go. Gotta look at the stipulation. You gotta seek him and remember him. Remember his ability. Remember his word. Faith cometh by hearing and that by the word of God. Amen? Y'all with me? I hope y'all getting something out of this. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. All right, read. What's that? What's that? Wait, where's verse here? 12. <laughs> remember his marvelous works. All right, well, don't you remember his marvelous works when you're seeking them? Remember his marvelous works. That he has done. What he's done. His wonders. His wonders. And the judgments of his mouth. Uh-huh. And, and the judgments, the, the, uh, the truth of his word. His promises. Yes. Those are his judgments. Yes. Huh? Whatever God has said, it has to come to pass. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That, those are his judgments. Hallelujah. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That's a judgment of God. Yeah. Huh? Yes. I read. Mean, oh, ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen one. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Be ye mindful always of his covenant. Now here it is. What does he say? Be ye mindful always of his covenant. What does that mean? What does that mean? Be ye mindful always of his covenant. What does that mean? Remember his word. promises. Remember his agreement. What he's asking us to do. Uh-huh. How often? Always. What does that mean? Always. Continually be on your mind. Continually. Do we do that? Is that literal? Is God talking figuratively or literal? Literal. 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 Uh, so is this a suggestion or a command? A command. So if we don't do that, then we have to do what? Repent. Repent? I like that. I was going to say change. But yeah, I like that better. Repent! Huh? Yes. And start doing it. Amen? Amen. This Bible study, right? Amen. And what's the purpose of Bible study? Learn. Correct. Yes. And to, and to learn how to apply God's word to your everyday life. Right. So you can have victory. Right. Amen? Amen. Right. Can I have victory without God? No. No, I need God. You need God. Yeah. To learn how to live holy. Right. And, and the only way to do that is I got to seek him yes. with my whole heart. Right. I can't go by what somebody taught me. Mm -hmm. huh? right. I know that's a powerful statement. Huh? I got to go by what the Holy Ghost yes. reveals yes. unto me. Yes. Right. Huh? Yeah, I know we're teaching a good Bible study tonight. And I hope you're being enlightened. But until you actually take this Bible study, go to God in prayer, and allow the Holy Ghost to open it up to you and to quicken it to you, yeah. it'll be like you hear it and the devil will come and snatch it from your heart. Yeah. Wow. I'm teaching up in here. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You don't want that word to fall by the wayside. You don't want it to fall on stony ground. No. Amen? Amen? You want it to fall on good ground. Amen? Amen. So it can germinate. So you can bring forth fruit. Yes. Amen. Huh? Yes. Prayer is essential to you bringing forth fruit. Yes, sir. Wow. Amen? Amen. Ah, uh, this is a good Bible study. My God. Uh-huh. Yeah, that just came. That word, that word <laughs> germinate. When you said that, I just had, had got a visual of somebody tilling the soil and putting a seed in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the Holy Ghost. And, and, and visualizing a flower growing. Yes. You know, so that's what God wants this word to do in us. Grow in us. Yeah. It's a seed. Yeah. Wants it to grow in us, germinate yeah. in your heart. Yeah. Amen. You got to water it. Got to meditate on it. Amen? You gotta seek God. Yeah. Huh? You gotta call on Him. You gotta have a desire, Lord. I wanna do your will. I wanna walk in your way. Yes. Huh? Amen. And then when you seek God, 
the process of seeking him, he's showing you what you got to lay aside, what you got to gather, yeah. what you got to do, what you got to stop doing. Amen. Ah. Amen. Ah. Amen. Ah. Amen. Ah. Wow. Huh? Yes. And then that's when he says strength, seeking strength, because you need strength to do stuff and you need strength to stop doing stuff. Yes. Yes. Huh? The Bible class trying to change on me. I thought we was going to rejoice and be shopping. Huh? Hallelujah. Mm. It's good stuff. Yeah. Huh? And, I, and, and when I'm seeking, I'm not seeking my own will. I'm seeking God's will. God. What's your will, God? I got to esteem him high like that. Huh? All right, read. What verse is it? 15. Uh-huh. Be ye mindful always of his covenant. Be mindful always of his covenant. The word which he commanded the, the, to the thousands of generations. Uh -huh. Now notice, the word which he commanded to thousands of generations. That word has to be in your heart. This word has to be in your heart and in your prayers. Amen. All right, read that last one. Even the covenant which he made with Abraham. Uh huh. And of his oath unto Isaac. Yes. Read. And have confirmed the saying to Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when you were but few, even the few and strangers in it. And when they went from nation to nation, from one kingdom to, a, to another people. He suffered no man to do them wrong, yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, mm. saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Now, when you seek God's will and desire to do what he told you to do, you're going to come up against opposition. Yep. Huh? Is that by design? Yes. Yes. Absolutely, it's by design. Why? Why is that by design? Why do we come against opposition? Jesus said they hated him. They're going to hate us. <laughs> that's true. But what? Persecuted what? for his name's sake. That's true. Because <laughs> God's will doesn't align with evil. That's true. We have an adversary. We got an adversary. Finish that up. <laughs> he is the devil. All right, let me say it. Let me say, you, the main reason why you come up against opposition is for God to show his glory. He wants to show his glory through you. Amen. You were created for God's glory. Yeah. Amen. 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 Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord deliver us out of them all. Huh? Why? Because he wants other people to see his power and his might and his glory through you. Doing his will. See. Remember we taught that word see? See? Yes. See. Yes. Yes. So people can see it. Amen? Amen. And, and when he, uh, I think when he was, People should see you doing the will of God. Notice, let your light shine before men that they may what? See. That means you have to do in order for them to see it. See what? Good works. Anytime you see good works, it's talking about righteousness. Yeah. To see the righteousness of God upon you. Yes. Is that important? Yes. yes. Absolutely. Yes. All right. That's it. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Uh, to first child. We're almost done. I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all y'all getting tired on me.
I'm turning the heat off. First John. All right, first John. That's it. First John, chapter number five. We have to say that. All right. Drop down to verse. Well, let's start with 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. And this is the confidence that we have in him. All right, now this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Now, there it is. Stand on that scripture. If you ask anything According to the will of God, he does what? He hears us. And what does that word hear mean? Acts on. Acts on. Acts on. He does it. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What if he doesn't act on Right away. Hmm. It's represented to me. Huh? We gotta wait. <laughs> he said we gotta wait. I and he up. said you gotta represent. I passed up on opportunities to do as well, and then later on in life he put it in front of me again. Alright? So he, he may not answer your prayer. Right away. Or at all, for that matter. Yeah. Why? Go ahead. All right. Now, did y'all hear what First Lady said? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Say that again, First Lady. Uh -huh. Maybe something we want. Right. 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 So now you just said two different things now. Right, yes. First, I heard it may not be his will. Right. Right? So then, if it's not his will, what should I do? Ah, uh, so I think Sylvester said it. Seek. Seek. So he can turn my heart into his will. Right? Then she said, he may not be answering me because it may not be time yet. If it's not time yet, what should I do? Seek. Seek. Huh? So he can build me up. Yes. So he can change my heart. Yes. So he can give me what I need to be able to handle the blessing. Because, okay. you know, sometimes we get the wrong understanding of waiting. What does waiting mean? This is good Bible study here. <laughs> What's waiting mean? Uh, when, I, when he says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Sir, what does that mean? Sir, sir, what you mean? Come on, come on, break it. Give me something. <laughs> you're, not, you're not standing around waiting like you're waiting for a bus. You'll get busy serving God. Serving, and building yourself up. Right. Serving. As you're serving God, God is strengthening you. Yes. God is blessing you all the time while you're serving him. Yes. And you're getting what you need. Yes. Does that mean uh, I sit back and do nothing no. and say I'm waiting? No. It's like that means I stop coming to church because no. I'm waiting? It's, it's no. like a waiter at a restaurant. 
You wait and serve. Serve! I like that! Mm -hmm. And you're still seeking as you wait. You're still seeking as you're waiting. Prepare yourself. You pre oh! I like that. Preparing yourself. You continue to do the, um, the, will, of, the will of the Lord uh, with the right attitude and the right heart. Come on! Remain faithful. Come on! Stay humble. Come on! See, this is good if you apply it. Uh, you won't be discouraged in the process if you apply what we're talking about. Uh, and then, I'm going to say this. Sometimes we don't know why God is not answering my prayer. Why is that? Because he's sovereign. Because he's God. All by himself. That's right. Let my two or three year old keep asking me, Daddy, why? Daddy, why? Sometimes I always say, Because I said so! <laughs> right. Huh? Yeah. Then what? I got to accept that. Right. Because some things may be too high for me. <laughs> right. Huh? Wow. Some, some things I can't handle the answer. Uh, no matter how big I think I am, uh, I can't handle everything. Can't handle everything. Yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> Ooh, my brother. I just wanted to say um, I was blessed, privileged <laughs> some years ago to take care of my former pastor as he was passing away. And the nurse came in and she said, well, Bishop, can I ask you a question? And he said, sure, what is it? She said, well, Bishop, I don't understand why does God allow this and why does God allow that? And he he laid there and he said, well, daughter, he said, you got children? She said, yes. He said, he said do you tell your children everything you do? Mm -hmm. he said, she said, no. She said, he said, why? He said, it ain't their business. He said, God feels the same way about you. Absolutely. Some stuff ain't your business. <laughs> ain't your business. <laughs> just got to do it. <laughs> Some stuff just ain't your business. <laughs> you do what he told you to do and let him run what he's doing. Right. Uh, wow. <laughs> yep, that's obedience. Out of grown folk. Huh? <laughs> I'm huh? So, you know, unless we begin to seek God, my sister. I was thinking on that why, because God don't answer for a reason. He right. Don't answer our prayers for a reason. We can be in His will. Right. He don't, it says God have His own reasons as to why we, He's not going to give us what we want. Right. So I learned that some time ago. My prayer today is help me to accept Your will. That's it. Come on. Me. Come on. You know, because I know God don't Come answer on. all prayers. Come I on. mean, no matter how righteous you are. Yeah. And then when God revealed that to me, my prayer to this day is, God, help me to accept your will concerning me. Don't let me get upset because mm -hmm. I don't get what I want. Don't let me get upset yes. because you won't uh, answer my prayer. Just help me to accept what it is that you have in, in store for me. Whatever it is, help me to accept that and be grateful and be thankful. Was that a process for you? Yes. Come on here. Yeah, that's what Jesus had huh? right? Yeah. Not my will, but your will be done. Not my will, but thy will be done. Mm -hmm. It's a process. Huh? And you don't get that without seeking him. No. Amen? Amen. Some people get too discouraged and they stop praying. Have you ever had a numeral test come up on you and you stop praying? Amen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'll be honest. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have. Huh? Yeah. Amen. Sometimes yeah. stuff come on us, we stop praying because we're discouraged. Yeah. Is that the time to stop? No. 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 The devil start making you think he ain't listening no. to you no way, so stop. Right. <laughs> wow. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta call back your remembrance of who God is mm. and not be following your emotions and your feelings. Right. Huh? Got to fall back on the Bible study. Yeah. Uh, what have you been taught? Let training kick in. Yeah. Huh? Right. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, silly. Go ahead. Go ahead, my brother. Uh, I was going to say that. Uh, Shut up! The Lord is always trying to manifest the fruits of His Spirit in you. So always. Yes. We are very much a uh, 
that's the have it now microwave culture and the Lord doesn't always move instantly. Nope. Sometimes it is better for you to wait. Sometimes it is better for you not to have it. And that's okay. And that's maturity and maturity yeah. spiritually that it is not right now. Seek the Lord. Seek his will to see what he wants to do today. Like that's what I'm talking about. You know, I, I caught out of what he said, and that's okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Whatever God's will is, it's okay. that's okay. Yeah. Why? Why is that okay? It's based on who he is. Right. Huh? He's gracious. He's merciful. He's always right. Huh? He's always right. He will withhold no good thing from you. Huh? God doesn't have an ulterior motive. He's not trying to do you evil. He's, he's always trying to boost you up. And not trying to hurt you. Not trying to hurt you. It's based on who he is because he knows who we are. Right. Am I right? He know more than you know. Yes. Wow. Just think, I'm just saying, I hope somebody got somebody in their life that they trust or have trust. Right? And, and... Because of that relationship of trust, you're not concerned about what their motives are. No. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you're, not, you're not afraid to share your feelings and emotions. You trust them. You know, if they said the sky is uh, red, they say the sky is red. It's red. <laughs> huh? That's right. Huh? <laughs> God <laughs> is greater than that. <laughs> so you're right. He has no ill huh, against you. He wants to help you. Am I right? Amen. That's who he is. Am I right? Yeah. And God will avenge you. Believe that. Yeah. Mm. Yes, he will. Huh? Didn't he just read that scripture, touch not my anointed? <laughs> mm -hmm. yep. Hallelujah. Yes, he will. Go ahead. Uh, and, and Bishop, on top of that, God wants us to, to act in faith, to, um, to, to increase my faith, help my unbelief when I, when I go to him. Yes. You know, and, and, and when I pray, I ask God, I, I, I talk to the Lord about my weaknesses and my strengths. You know, yeah, that's seeking and, him. And, and, yeah. and, and, and that's really seeking him. Yes. And God knows everything about me. Right. Everything. 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 When you're going through the process of waiting, you seek it. When you're coming through the process of unknowing, you seek it. Huh? And then, and then when, when, when God, uh, he says, ask, right? Uh, you make the request known. The request may not be suitable to what God wants to do. So you start seeking to change your mind, right? And then when he gives you the answer, yes. then you start knocking. You start pursuing. You be yes. persistent. Yes. Amen? That's where that faith comes in. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. To attain what God has showed you that he was going to give you and be manifested in your life. Yes. Amen? Because even though God says yes, you still got to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Even though God says yes, you still got to come up against opposition. Opposition. My Lord. Uh, and why is that opposition? Why is the fight? So God can get the glory. Get the glory. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Can, can I say this? Thank you, Lord. I was... I was hanging out with some pastors over the weekend, um, and you know I'm there listening to their testimonies. God had me on listen mode, uh, and and um, how can I say this? I know how God operates in my life. Right. God, God operates in my life with nothing, uh, with limited resources, nothing, yeah. and then He causes. Doors to open and situations to come, and and so I can give them the glory. Yeah. Mm. Yep. 
And as I sat there, I was riding with them pastors and they were sharing their testimony. And, and when I went to the church that we was going to, uh, I was listening to all of them. And, and they all generally had the same testimony as I did. Wow. That God will establish you out of nothing. <laughs> so he can get the glory. Huh? Yeah. So it's not in the number. Yeah. It's not in the bank account. Yeah. Huh? It's not in the, what's in the cupboard. Yes, Lord. Huh? It's not how many friends you have. Yeah. Huh? Huh? It's all about God. Yeah. That's right. That's it. Huh? Yeah. Opposition is you should expect it. Yeah. When you do anything for God, you should expect opposition. Huh? Yes. When we was buying the house that we up in now, all kind of opposition. Wow. They knew I had the money, huh? But they still wanted to show their ugly head. Wow. <laughs> huh? Wow. Still wanted to give me a bite. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Huh? And then when it came to the final hours, huh? literally the final hours, I sat there about this. I said, God, God, you see, you know, and you understand. <laughs> yeah. Lord, open that door. Immediately, I got shot. The phone rang and said, Frank, be prepared to close. Yeah. I said, yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. yeah. Huh? God. Yeah. Amen. God will. He want to show his glory. Uh, but now, I had to wait on it. 30 years, I had to wait on it. <laughs> y'all, y'all said, y'all should have been clapping. <laughs> uh, 30 years, I had to wait on it. Yeah. Huh? Wait on it. Am I right? If I go around this room, I know some of y'all been in that similar situation where God showed up and showed his hand. Huh? I'm your man. <laughs> Prayer, consistency, sticking with God. Huh? Don't allow the enemy to get one up over you. And if he does, what should you do? Be safe. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and repent. Yeah. All right, now, just give you these points again. Huh? If, if God doesn't answer your prayer because, oh, we got to finish that scripture. I got three more minutes. Uh, he may not answer because, immediately, because of the wrong motives. Right? Right. Got to get your motives right. Got to seek them. Right. Uh, he may not answer because you're asking for the wrong thing. Right. Yeah. Am I right? Right. So you got to seek them. Yeah? Am I right? Right. Uh, uh, he may not answer because of, of uh, uh, sinfulness in your life. So you got to turn around and answer. It, he may not answer because it's de de delayed. Huh? And he may not answer because it may harm you. Yeah. And Bishop, the Bible said that Daniel prayed and he had to wait 21 days. And God told him, I heard you when you first prayed. Yeah. yeah. But I, he had to fight the devil to get to him. Persevere. 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 All right, finish reading that scripture. Then we're going to go. And this is the confidence that we have in him. Now, you should have confidence in God. And if we ask anything according to his will. All right. Now, if you ask anything according to the will of God. He hears us. He'll hear you with the uh, objective to answer your request. And if we know that he hears us, uh -huh. whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. See, that's why he's, he's reinforcing what I just said. If we pray anything according to the will of God, he hears us. And we have the petition. And we have the petition that we desire of him. Uh-huh. Right? 
That's what God looks at it as a petition. You're petitioning him. You're putting forth your request. It's actually ah, a demand. Hmm? Oh, you see, I don't look at it like that. You're putting it before God. Amen? You're drawing down on his power, his will. Now, in my closing here, some things we ask for, and we know it's according to his will, but we doubt that he'll do it. Wow. That's so true. Huh? Is that true? Yes. Yep. We don't think he'll do it for us. Yep. Sometimes we pray and ask God for more strength. Then we think, well, is it according to his will? Will he give me strength? Sometimes we pray for more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mm -hmm. Huh? Sometimes we pray for more of the fruit of the Spirit, and we wonder. Sometimes we pray for, Lord, give me the whole armor of God, and we wonder. Wow. Huh? All of those things are according to his will. Right. So don't worry, don't, don't wonder if he hears you. Accept it, believe it. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes we pray, Lord, save me. Huh? <laughs> Devil used to fight my mind when I first got in the church. Oh, you ain't saved. You ain't saved. You ain't saved. I had to seek God. Huh? And God had to put it in my mind. Huh? I saved you. I delivered you. I set you free. And the reason why the enemy is trying to persuade you differently is because he's a liar. <laughs> Uh, and the father of mm -hmm. Alright, close that down. Uh, he's the father of life. Amen?